Hey everybody, it's Dave, and real quickly, I want to share with you the kingdom concept for Phoenix City Church. It's not the vision or the mission statement, it's really a foundation for what we're doing. It uh, gives us a bearing, and I think you'll see that it makes a lot of sense. This is what uh, Will Mancini says about the kingdom concept. It's the great permission within the Great Commission, or how uh, we share God with our community. But to do that, we have to know uh, what our community is comprised of, what we are comprised of, and what God has called us to. So that gives us the local predicament, the collective potential, and the apostolic spree, or you can call that the heartbeat. Uh, we observe, we discover through engaging, and through that, we, uh, we build our kingdom concept. So real quickly, uh, if we look at our local predicament, uh, you'll see that, that we've, we've really discovered a lot about where we are in, in our community. The fifth largest city, uh, full of urban and suburban sprawl, we're really spread out over a large area. A lot of first generation families and singles, this is a transplant city uh, with a lot of uh, ethnic diversity, uh, highly Hispanic, uh, and you can see the rest. Uh, we are a, a big city, but we face a lot of modern big city problems, things that, that are worth addressing. So we'll move on to the collective potential. That's our group. That's who we are. It's uh, what we are made of, how we, if we're real honest, we define ourselves. And there are strengths and there are weaknesses in our collective potential. But it's important to know who we are so that we can best reach our goals, minister, know where we even need to grow and, and be disciplined. Uh, and finally, we have our apostolic spree, that's our heartbeat, what God has been calling us to. And uh, these are places I think we, we can confirm uh, pretty uh, easily, uh, making new disciples, personal transformation, community building, and we are high expectation culture. We, we expect uh, that in our faithfulness, God will provide and will, will build through us. So we take all those, what we've learned and what we've discovered, some of these things we've learned over the past few months and some over the course of many years, and we ask, what's our kingdom concept? Well, for us, uh, I think that this, this clearly defines a, a course of action. Phoenix City Church exists to reveal Jesus, restore community, and renew life in the city. And yeah, those are catchy and, and uh, hopefully memorable. I hope those are things that you remember. Are revealing Jesus, restoring community, and renewing life. But there is meat and meaning and scriptural authority behind those uh, those ideas, and they all point back to the things that we've discovered about the city and about ourselves. Uh, I think you'll see that uh, these are more than just catchphrases or taglines. That they're they're really valuable. Let's break them down real quickly. Uh, reveal Jesus. We will intentionally and strategically share the gospel with those who have never heard it, with those who have rejected it, and with those who have grown cold to it. In restoring community, we will be a community that welcomes and honors people in all parts of life's path, and we will build new relationships with those who would have us. We will be a gathering of people who work towards the common good of the city and God. Finally, renewing life. We will act to mend the broken places in the city, seeking to strengthen people, families, organizations, or they may be blessed to live to their highest potential. And we will be a safe place for people of faith, doubt, strength, and weakness, as we are all of those ourselves. So how do we accomplish the kingdom concept? Well, this is where we differ from the rest of traditional church. We have to see ourselves differently uh, to reach different people. So we all are missionaries. We're not ministers or members. And so that means we will be a church that's different, and we need to be different people. And there's going to be a learning curve to that as we relearn what it is to be the gospel, uh, to be the hands and feet of Jesus in the city. So it'll be a lot of learning and a lot of challenges, but it'll be so rewarding, I don't think you'll ever regret it. Here's a question I leave you with. What does this mean for city, Phoenix City Church? What does it mean for you, for your family? How will you make a difference in the lives of that next person you meet?